We're here with Pooch and Chubby Tavares. And I just wanted to ask you guys some Thank questions you. about sure. when you started. Um, first, I wanted to ask you, you're all brothers. Yes, we are. You still are. Yeah. So yeah. it's still the same it's original? It's still with all, all original. The original yeah. brothers, yes. It's awesome. We okay. have one brother that's not with us now, that's Ralph. Ralph, the, the, the group consisted of five brothers. Okay. And uh, we actually have seven brothers and three sisters. Wow. Yeah. So only five of them decided to go the musical route. Well, at one time, all seven of all them were together. Wow. When okay. we were kids. But then as they got older, they branched out and started doing their own things. But when we first started recording, it was six of us. My wow. brother Victor okay. was with us yeah. too. And Very he cool. left And he left us right after we started recording, he left. Okay. And it's been five ever since then. So in 1959, when you were Chubby and the Turnpikes, that was the five of you? It was five of us. It was, right. it was myself, it was Chubby, it was Pooch, Ralph, and Butch. And how did you guys like working as a family? Did everybody get along? And Well, we used to have to sleep it? Butch into to the nightclubs because he was too young. He was too um, young to get in there. Okay, so we, we used to have to, have to sneak him in. But we got along pretty good. You did know. well with that? Yeah. Because yeah. I know working with family well, or... Well, you know, I think the, the the biggest times that we have problems is about the show. Right. You know, if something doesn't go right in the show, we, that's when you're we at each other right. instead of because you can because you're family. Yeah. So you can go after each other. Yeah, but I'm saying, but it's uh, you know, we've been doing it for 38 years now. Our dad right. started us doing it when we were kids, and he played guitar and sang himself. So I guess we just inherited a family of singers together. So. And when did you switch over from Chubby and the Turnpikes to Tavares and why? 1971, we went to Italy. My brother Butch had just got married to Lola Falano. Wow. And uh, they couldn't pronounce Turnpikes. They didn't even know what a Turnpike They didn't know what it was, what it meant. Okay. All, uh, you know? They have autobahns there. They don't have Turnpikes. They don't know what a Turnpike means. So that's when we changed our name to Tavares. We changed it to the family to the name. Family, family name. Yeah. That's, that's And fantastic. that's where it stuck. Okay, and then um, your version of More Than a Woman earned you a Grammy. Yes, it correct? did. Correct? Best yes. album okay, of the year. So how was that for Very you guys? Good. It's great. Great. Because uh, you guys have great a lot team. of hits, so I'm, I'm uh, you know, shocked that that's the one that got the Grammy. Yeah, well, yeah. that got the Grammy because of the, uh, the motion picture. The, the Saturday, Saturday Night, Night Fever, Fever exactly. Well, we, did, we did get nominated another time for a Grammy. Yeah, we got nominated for yeah. Penny for Your Thoughts. Thoughts. And that was in 1981. You remember all these dates? Yeah. So the only other thing I want to ask you is, um, what this is the biggest for me because I'm a 70s. I, I love the 70s decade, the artists. That's where yeah. my heart and soul is. What is the biggest difference between the 70s to today? Which What's your biggest change? That in, you guys in ourselves see? Or, or, or in the industry and yourselves music. and what you do, just the music yeah, itself, the, music the technology, not the same like at all. The no, it's it's, it's, it's street. You know, and they might think that it's, it's what they want, and that's what's happening now. Okay, look, it's not music. They don't put the time into it like we did. Exactly. You know, we had rehearsals. You know, we, we, yeah, if you notice that when we're on together. stage, we sing. It's pure, clean. It's harmony. plug and play. Right. That's yes. what I like and to it's call it. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. they don't do that. There I mean, was no this technology today. It's like you know anyone can get up so and much use of it. it that it's, it's, that's why I it love makes the it seventies. Too, it's, it makes it's, it too easy because now when you get a lot of these artists that go and try to do it professionally and work on stage, they can't do it. Right. Exactly. They can't do it because they haven't had that background coming up on the, you know, what, what we used to call the Chitlin circuit, working all these little clubs and stuff like that. Sure. That's how you get, that's how you, you know, maintain a repertoire. And I, I agree with that 100%. That's yeah. why I wanted to ask you. Come on. <laughs> and we're, I'm doing just an interview with okay. Tavares. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny Tavares. How you doing? <laughs> so we were just kind of wrapping up the interview. I was asking him what the changes were from the 70s to now in the industry Ooh. with the music, and he answered exactly the way well, I know, would mu Music is still, you know, they're still sampling us. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know, they're still sampling exactly. from it's the old days. It's the real days. deal. You guys yeah. are the real deal, and I'm completely honored to even be here with you. I mean, you. we listened to, you know, growing up, we listened to people like Frank Sinatra and everybody that was musicians in the business and, you know, knew how to sell it, tell to a crowd and stuff like that. And That's right. You know, you know, know that. there's only two artists for me that I enjoy right now. And that's uh, Usher and R. Kelly. I love R. R. Kelly yeah. sings a lot of stuff that's based from the '70s. You know, he's got that old way of him. And he brings yeah. it into and he, br the and he brings it into his recording, and it's yeah. great. That's I mean, great. I can sit and listen to R. Kelly all day. Yeah. He has some nice, nice things. 
Yeah, they're great. Well, I definitely appreciate your time, and thank you so much for being here.